Hi everybody, welcome to a week eight burning question video. Okay, so I'm in Shanghai. I'm not in Shanghai. I'm in Hangzhou, China right now, but I live in Shanghai. And in a lot of places I go, if I'm talking to like anybody I come in contact with um, via English, I can't speak Chinese very uh, conversationally yet. Whenever I'm talking to them, I do notice quite a bit that he, she, her, and him get really, really messed up. And it's not just when people are talking about their friends, but it's like family members, it's like boyfriends or girlfriends, and it's hard to follow conversations when Chinese speakers mess up the pronouns that I just mentioned, he, she, her, and him, in English. And now that I'm learning Chinese, part of me wants to know why. Now, I know that the character uh, for he and she is, and I'm sadly uh, not prepared for this moment, I believe they are the exact same character. Let me look this up really quick. No, of course I looked up the wrong thing. <laughs> Whoops! Anyway, from what I understand, it is the same character. So I understand the confusion, but I'm wondering... Where's the sound? No. Here we go. I'm just using Google Translate for this. And I don't think you can see the character. this is not happening. <laughs> um, let me see if I can hone in on it. That's not going to work. Anyway, the character for he and the character for she are the same. So is that the same for him and her? I, have, I haven't actually looked that up. But every time I ask this question IRL in real life, um, I get the answer that it's because of that. So I guess my question is, is it? And is it the same for her and him? Because when there's more than one person in the converse, in, in the story that's being told, it gets really, really confusing because then you've got, like if you have a man and a woman and then they refer back to the man but they mean the woman because the, the pronoun confusion, it's very, very confusing. Um, and going the opposite way, do English speakers usually mess up when they uh, use these pronouns in Chinese? That's probably more of my burning question um, because it, it looks like it's kind of obvious why why Chinese language learners of English mess up the pronouns, but uh, going the opposite direction, which I'm going in right now, um, is this a potential pitfall in the future when I start actually putting full sentences together? And is it more so for he, she, or more so for him, her, or neither? Or is it just a whole lot easier, like when you go from a romance language that uses, um, that uses uh, gendered articles and things, and then you go to a language that doesn't, that's just gone, and you have to remember not to try to put one on there? I'm curious. I'm very, very curious. So my initial question is, I know that he and she are the same character, are him and her also the same character? Is that why that's equally confused? And two, going from English to Chinese, are there any potential pitfalls that I should look out for? I've got probably a couple more months before I really start putting sentences together. <laughs> I'm really gone gung-ho on vocabulary before I even remotely, remotely touch even simple sentences. But I am very curious because I do hear this a lot and it does cause me a lot of confusion. Um, and I do see people kind of catch themselves and try to fix it, but it um, more times than not, it's not caught and fixed and it's very... Um, very confusing. So I'm very curious if the confusion goes both ways when English learners are learning Chinese as well. That's it. That's my. Those are my two burning questions of the week, both related to pronouns in English and in Chinese, specifically more going from English to Chinese and the potential pitfalls coming my way. Appreciate your thoughts on this, and if there are any other pronoun-y kind of things that you think might be an issue that it aren't specifically these, that could also be a comment if you want to leave that below. So um, looking forward to your comments, and thank you all for your comments and watching this channel and all that kind of good stuff. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good day or have a good night, depending on where you are. Thanks. Bye.